Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today is the release day for the monthly card kit of the month for the Not Too Shabby Shop and it's called Home Sweet Home. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. It comes with three stamps, so here's the first stamp and it's called Plant Life Sentiments. Here's another stamp set and it's called Hope's Garden and it comes with tools for gardening and some sentiments like plant seeds of hope, plant smiles, and from my garden to yours. And then the next stamp set is called Cup of Tea and it comes with this super cute kitten and five sentiments. So I'll be mainly using this stamp set today for the sentiments. And then here is one of two of the paper pads. This one's called Quiet Morning. Comes with 24 double-sided designs, four of each designs. So here are the pattern papers that come with this particular paper pack. So you have teacups and it comes with soft lavenders and like a minty green. That one's a glitter paper and you got pots. This one looks like a floral wallpaper. This one is a diamond with all of the different um, pictures like the teacups, the cat, and then here's a soft subtle teacup background. And then the next uh, paper pad that comes with this kit is Grow Your Garden. So this one matches with the garden stamp set that I showed you earlier. And here's the pattern papers that come with it. It has a soft sagey green, kind of looks like a shabby chic uh, theme to me. Even the other one, it kind of has a shabby chic feel to it, almost like a country uh, colors. I don't know. Uh, I'm really loving the colors because it screams spring and it's really pretty and I'm gravitating towards um, the soft lavenders and the other pattern paper, which is Quiet Morning. And then here is one of two of the, of the ephemeras that come with this card kit as well. And this one is all garden themed, as you can see. So I'm just laying it all out for you here. You got some garden seeds, um, some uh, bag of flowers, and this one matches with the Grow Your Garden paper pack. And you got some, I think those are succulents and lots and lots of flower pots and lots of foliage and florals that comes with this one. And there's a jar and a watering can with flowers, a banner. And then you got an apron hanging on a wood. And then you got these super cute girls smelling the flowers, which I think are really nice to decorate your cards like when you're uh, with the stamp set that comes with all the uh, garden tools. That's, I think they would be perfect to make scene cards with it. And here's the second pack of ephemera. And this one, this one I love because it's, it's the girls reading books and I like the color palette and the illustrations of these girls. And I just think they're different because you rarely see illustrations like this in card making. So um, I really gravitated towards these ep um, ephemeras and I'll be working on cards with this today. And then here are some kittens in the cup and a kitten with um, florals around him or her, and then books, more teacups, teacups with florals and more florals and leaves. So this is really different and I couldn't wait to play with this ephemera. You got some flowers here. I think those are like pink cotton, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not like a big time gardener. Like I honestly don't know anything about um, plants or anything. I know about perennials that they, <laughs> you know, come, come out every spring, but that's about it. So here are the items that I'll be using. I brought a Whimsy Stamps uh, die to die cut my pattern paper. And I'll have the name of that down below. I just 
can't remember off the top of my head. And what I like about that dye is that it has a um, pattern or like a border, border to it that has a shabby chic feel to it to me. So I thought it would um, pair perfectly with the uh, paper pattern paper that I chose, which is from the Quiet Morning uh, paper pack. And I chose cardstock that is darker than the pattern paper that I chose there just so it would kind of stand out a little bit um, in front of my um, pattern paper behind it. So as you can see here, there's the uh, detail from the die and it's really, really pretty. I think it's called Sprinkles Die from Whimsy Stamps. But... I'll have that name um, down below. So all of these are going to look the same as far as where I place the paper. And then I'm just going to build a scene with it with my ephemeras. Um, I wanted to showcase these ephemeras to you guys and different ways to place them on your card. Um, these will make quick and simple cards to... Um, give to your loved ones or you know to have in your stash when you need to mail something out so my favorite here right now that's standing out to me is that cat on the lower left and so i brought out some uh, colored ink pads that match the paper and this one i believe is called gorgeous grape and it all um, i was glad that it wasn't too light because um I didn't want it too light I really wanted it to stand out but I also didn't want to use a black ink pad because I didn't want it to look harsh I also put uh dimensionals or foam tape on my uh one of the ephemeras or well this one I put it on two of them because I wanted it to pop out. So whatever was my subject, I made sure to put uh, dimensionals or popped it up with foam tape. And then this one, this color is called Row Coco Rose. And I'm using Stampin' Up! ink pads. And this one says, just peeking on, in on you. And one of my favorite sentiments from this stamp set is actually to my favorite introvert now some people may not believe this but I'm actually an introvert in real life like but if you if I'm comfortable around you I'm you know I open up a lot but if I don't know you and I'm just like you know I'm very reserved and I just have to get a feel for who you are so let me know in the comment section if you are an introvert or an extrovert my husband is definitely not an introvert, <laughs> but you know, I have to say that I am, and I'm also a homebody. So, so maybe that's why this, these ephemera speak to me. And then for this one, I chose hi there for a sentiment. So it's a perfect uh, card for any type of occasion. And then for this card right here, I felt like it had a lot of white space. So I took more of the uh, leaves from the uh, ephemera pack and so I felt like I was satisfied with with the placement of those elements and now we're just going to go ahead and adhere our card front on our card base and I'm using white card stock on all of these and I really love the white border these cards look so well put together now that I'm looking at them and I really do think that that scalloped uh, border with the detail of sprinkles on them really make this card stand out. What do you guys think? And so there are all the cards. And then for the last finishing touch, I'm going to add some Pink Fresh Studio Jewels. I chose purple and blue. And the blue really, like I put it on the greenish blue cardstock and some on the uh, pink one. I'm not sure, but I know I added it on two of the cards and it, it didn't look too bad because it kind of absorbed some of the color like from the 
um, pattern paper. So let me know in the comment section below which card was your favorite. I love reading all of your comments. Make sure to visit each of the participants in this hops for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate to Jamie's Not Too Shabby Shop. And then I'll have the link to the raffle copter below. You can also follow everyone from the hashtag N2S Home Sweet Home so you can see all the participants participating in this hop. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.